Thank you very much. And welcome everybody to my presentation. I'll talk a little bit about innovation and how it has transformed the world of finance over the last 15 years. Well, let me begin with a distant memory that I have. When I started my career about 20 years ago, in the corner of the office, there was this big machine. It looked very mysterious. It was very large. It was very noisy. At first, I didn't know what it was for. And then they told me, you can use this machine to send a picture or to send some texts to anywhere in the world. It seemed amazing to me. It seemed so modern that a machine could do something like that. But here we are today, and I can see in your faces most of you have not worked with a fax machine, because everything that a fax machine could do back then, a simple mobile telephone can do today. We have just gone through the most seismic, the biggest technological advancement in the history of mankind over these 20 years that I have been in my career. We call this digitization. Everything has moved digital, and that has really changed the way that we think about innovation. I remember as a child, when I thought about innovation, I thought about people in the laboratories, in white lab coats, trying to come up with new creative substances. Today, we can do innovation because of digitization, all of us, very, very simply, even on a mobile telephone. This is the great equalizer. You no longer need huge machinery. You no longer need big laboratories to be able to innovate. All you need to do is pull out your mobile phone and, like Ashwin did, start some applications which can then transfer, which can then measure your heart rate, which can measure your biofeedback and give you valuable information and make you improve the way that you're playing chess. But this is not only in chess that you can use innovation, but also in the world of finance, where I come from. As it was mentioned, I am a chess player, um, and I'm an amateur chess player. I actually sit on the board of the Hungarian Chess Federation, but actually, I am the head of the Morgan Stanley office here in Hungary. The office was started 15 years ago, and Morgan Stanley is one of the largest financial service companies in the world. Our global headquarters are in New York, and that started over 86 years ago now, so it's been in business for a very long time. In Budapest, 15 years ago, we started with just 25 mathematicians trying to model how the markets move, trying to come up with formulas to put prices on transactions, and trying to model up how risk works. By today, in 15 years, we've grown to over 2,500 colleagues working in Budapest across 10 different business units, including technology, risk management, and finance. And the, the, what's common between the 2,500 colleagues, we all use computers. We all use the digital technology to try and come up with new ways of doing things and trying to come up with ways to innovate. Let me give you an example. We have over 200 of my colleagues who have mathematics, mathematical work. We call them quants. They are quantitative analysts that work here in the Budapest office. And they actually have different backgrounds. Some of them have studied biology, some of them have studied chemistry, some even meteorology to try and predict how weather patterns will work. They actually can end up using that knowledge in the world of finance. What they try to do is come up with mathematical models to predict uh, trends and patterns in the financial world. They use digitization, which has really changed the world of finance. I remember when I started 20 years ago, um, I was sitting alongside the traders, and the traders were people who were on telephones, speaking with a client, yelling orders to each other. Today, none of the traders work like that. They all use their computers, and a lot of the market making is actually electronic. It's actually robots that do a lot of the pricing and quoting of transactions. 
And in order to stay ahead of the market, in order to stay in the game, we need these algorithms which put out quotes and prices in the market, because Morgan Stanley is a constant market maker in the global market. And we actually need to change these algorithms from time to time in order to stay in the business. So in effect, innovation is a necessity. And at Morgan Stanley, we actually have a very long history of innovation. Morgan Stanley was the first financial company to partner with IBM and use computers for financial analysis. That was back in 1962 that we started using computers for financial analysis. In 1980, Morgan Stanley was the company who took Apple public. We introduced them to the stock market. And in the IPO, uh, we actually used some creative technologies to put out the prices for Apple. And since then, as you all know, Apple has the highest market capitalization in the world, and they're one of the key innovators in today's world. In 2004, Morgan Stanley was the company that took Google public. It was the largest IPO ever, and Morgan Stanley came up with a creative auction platform in order to introduce these shares to the stock market. But we also work in Budapest on some very creative, innovative technologies. First of all, artificial intelligence. We actually have a product called Next Best Action. This is a product that's used by financial analysts in North America, over 15,000 of them. Um, and this tool tells them what is the next best thing for them to do when the stock markets move around, when one of their clients actually sells something, or there's a life event with one of their clients, they get married, uh, or they have children. This tool uses artificial intelligence to tell them what financial action they might want to take. And we work on this product from our Budapest office to help these financial advisors in North America. Or automation, that's what the picture is trying to show. In fact, we can use robots or we can use automatic algorithms um, to automate a lot of the simple tasks that some of our users do or some of our clients do. Or a third area in which we innovate and we've introduced new technologies is remote access. So this is how people can actually work from anywhere. This is something that's a necessity, sadly, now in the post-COVID world. Finally, I want to connect this a little bit to chess, given that we're at the chess festival. And I've, we have actually found that the logic that you use in chess actually is connected through STEM with the world of finance. Well, what do I mean by STEM? STEM is a mosaic word. Science, technology, engineering, and math. As you can see, the logic that we use in chess is actually very deeply connected to these sciences. And a lot of our colleagues in Budapest have actually studied these sciences to then improve the world of finance. Chess problems, actually, when you solve chess problems, you exercise some of the same skills in your brain that you use um, when you're researching science or you're coming up with a new creative way of doing something with your technology. This is why some of my colleagues online today are actually presenting some chess problems and trying to solve it together with the audience. This is the third time that Morgan Stanley is sponsoring this conference, the Global Chess Festival, and we're a long-term partner with UDIT to try and advance chess as a tool, as a game, to help uh, uh, youngsters get into the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math. It's also a very good testing ground for innovative new ideas. Just think about AlphaZero. AlphaZero, the way it works, is a tabula rasa algorithm. What does that mean? It means it's a clean table, a white table, a white piece of paper. All we have to do with AlphaZero is to show the rules to the computer, teach the computer how to play chess, and the computer starts to play against itself or against another robot. And as it goes through the game, it sees what strategies are working, what's not working. And then it applies machine learning, basically from this tabula rasa, we didn't give any further information to the computer about how much each piece is worth or what would be best strategies. It learns by playing against itself. And the algorithms that it develops 
is not only surpassing the human ability to play chess, but also the conventional computing methods that chess had used in the past. The motto of this festival today is Chess Connects Us. And that is very true in the world of Morgan Stanley. On the pictures here, you can see some of my colleagues who play chess. Last year, Morgan Stanley celebrated its 85th anniversary, and we had an international chess competition with 85 participants from all over the world. This year, we actually managed to surpass that. We had our 10th inter-office chess championships, which we just concluded yesterday. And believe it or not, we had over 400 colleagues from all over the world join into that competition. Altogether, at Morgan Stanley, we have six international masters who uh, work for us. And actually, you can meet some of them here. Just across from me, if you walk up the stairs, some of those international master colleagues uh, can be challenged in a challenge the master type game. So if you feel up for it, some of my colleagues are waiting to have a fun game against you. So chess connects us is the motto of the chess festival, but it's very much the motto that we also have at Morgan Stanley to connect our staff and colleagues across the globe. And we are very proud to have been sponsoring the festival for the third time, and we've just decided with Judith to extend our sponsorship for the next two years. So we're very proud to be behind this initiative. Thank you very much.